are working on week seven lab song. This is going to be our introduction to SQL databases and searching through them and what kind of prompts we need to input to get the output that we're looking for. So the first thing I want to note here is that once you've downloaded everything that you need, it doesn't actually tell you properly how to get where you need to go. You may otherwise, if you don't do the steps that I'm about to show you, create a new songs database folder, which you don't need to do. So the first thing that you need to do, which maybe was implied, but definitely doesn't say it, is we need to get into our songs database. So we need to CD songs. And once we're in songs, now we can actually go to the SQLite 3 and then songs db now if you're not in songs and you do that then you'll create a site will ask you a prompt to say do you want to create a new database called songs.db and if you select yes you'll actually create a new empty database file so make sure you're in songs before you do that to make sure you are in songs and everything went right dot schema here and that's actually going to show you everything that we need to do so once we have that you've already read the implementation so we're going to go through this I've got a little side by side here and that's how we're going to get this done we're actually going to go through one through eight here and we're going to do them one by one and just see what kind of input it takes from SQL to get the output that we're looking for also note here there is a little hint file down here this SQL keywords reference pops up this website here and it lets you know what functions SQL SQL has that you can find the outputs that you're looking for. So if you need a little bit of assistance, that's a very helpful hint. So let's get started with 1.SQL. So in 1, it wants an SQL query to list the names of all the songs in the database. Output a table where a single column for the name of each song. So we want to select and we want the name from songs that's what we want and don't forget your semicolon there to make it complete we're going to run that here select name from songs and there we go we have all of those then we're going to take that information there and we are going to plug it into our answers let's close number one here and let's go ahead and plug that into answers right now so answers is just select name from songs get okay, given extra space now we're going to go to number two SQL query to list the name of all songs in increasing order of tempo. So let's clear that out real quick. So this one's asking us for two things. We want the name of the songs in order of the tempo and we want that to be ascending or increasing, right? So we're going to select name from songs just like we did and then we are going to order them and again you you know these from the SQL keywords that the, the hint gave you. So we're going to order them by tempo, uh, and it's going to be ascending, A-S-C, so increasing, right? And then you put your semicolon in there, and we're going to run that same thing here. So select name from songs, and once you hit enter, because it knows the code is not over because there's no semicolon, we can input our second command. So order by tempo, and then ascending, and then put our semicolon in and there's our output right there so we are good on that we're gonna take that same information there gonna copy it close this out and put it in our answers text give two new lines here clear this out and move on to number three a SQL query to list the names of the top five loudest songs in descending order of length so we used ascending this time we're gonna use descending so what does it want first it wants the name so select again name from songs and this time it wants us to order it by uh, duration in milliseconds descending right and it also said it only wants the top five songs we're actually gonna have name of the songs in descending order and only top five so we want to order it by duration underscore ms milliseconds right and we want that in descending order and how many do we want we want to limit it right so limit it to five and close that out select name from songs order by now remember that little arrow is hey how much more do you want because you haven't given me a semicolon which means I still have code to work on here order by milliseconds descending and one more line limit five semicolon those are our top five songs in order so we're going to copy that and we're going to put that in our answers text I'm going to go ahead and close this out here 
put it in answers, one more space, clear this out, let's get into number four here. SQL query that lists the name of the songs that have danceability, energy, and valence greater than 0.75. So that really only has about two of them there. Well, technically more, but that's broken down into two main things. So the first thing we want is uh, select name from songs. And this time we need where, and it asks for three things, right? It asks for danceability. Uh, is greater than 0 0.75 because it said greater than it said greater than or equal to and we want energy to be greater than 0 0.75 and one more we want the valence to be greater than 0 0.75 now I have been typing these in individually, but we're gonna see what happens if you try and paste them in. Go ahead and click paste here. Put our semicolon in, click enter. You don't actually have to type them in more than once. You can use your copy and paste function and get those things out of there. And it looks like in this case, there's only one, two, three, four, five songs where the danceability, the energy, and the valence is greater than 0.75. So we're gonna copy that. We already have it copied because we used it to paste. Going to put that in our answers.txt, give us two lines, clear this out, move on from number four, and get into number five. Number five wants a SQL query that returns the average energy of all songs. So we really only have about one thing that it wants here. It just wants the average energy of all songs. So energy is what is listed as, so we need to select from songs. So we want to select and we want the average, which in SQL, in this case, again under your keywords, is AVG and we want energy and we want that from songs now again if you're like looking at these and you're wondering where I'm getting these things the SQL keywords real quick tip right here is gonna show you all those things so once we have that we're gonna copy and paste it here average energy right there that's our output go ahead and go to our answers text here paste that in there give ourselves two lines close out number five clear this out Go to six here and we're gonna scroll up here. So number six is asking us to write a SQL query that lists the name of the songs that are by Post Malone. You should not make any assumptions about what Post Malone's artist ID is. So in other words, we're not searching by artist ID, we're trying to find Post Malone and assign him an artist ID. So the way that we're gonna do that is we're going to select name it's going to be s name from songs and it's going to be s again and we're going to join artists and it's going to be a on s artist id equals a dot id where a dot name artist name is equal to post malone so what we have here is in the first line basically the statement selecting the name from the songs table but it's using s to specify that the name column belongs to the songs table the second line of the statement is taking the songs table with the artist table using artist id column in the songs table and the id column in the artist table so this is creating a new table that's combining the column for both tables the third line finally is where we're combining them taking only the name and the artist where they're equal to Post Malone. Basically we're limiting the results to only the songs that have the artist name Post Malone in them. Now I'm going to show you two more ways to do this. This is the way that I did it so let's see if it pops out what we need here. We're going to go ahead and paste and those are the Post Malone songs. Now, what if we did something different? What if we took something that was a little bit more maybe generic, a little less intuitive, right? What if we did something like this? Select name from songs where artist ID is equal to, now we put our parentheses, we wanna select ID from artist where the name is Post Malone. Now this one reads a little bit better, but again, encoding the ideas to get it shorter. This particular one that you guys are looking at right now is gonna be a much more simple one for people who are newer to SQL who haven't gone through the dictionaries and know how to use them. This one will work just the same as we have here. And you see that when we put both queries side by side, my query being here and the query I gave you being here, 
both of them will output the same thing, just in different orders. Now, finally, there's a third way you could actually do this. If you wanted to, you could actually put in select name from songs where we're using the exist this time. Selecting from artist where the name is Post Malone and the ID is songs.artist.id. This is my least favorite way to do it. It's a little bit convoluted. It's just as long as the one that I would prefer you guys to be doing, which would be select name from songs where artist ID is equal to and then set what is equal to. So this is the one that I did. This would be my alternative to it if I was you guys right there and that same one all of those are going to give you exactly what you need to find Post Malone. I prefer the shorter one that I have here so I'm gonna stick with that on my answer sheet. You guys are free to use whichever one you like. Give it two more lines. Check out number six here. Clear it. Move on to number seven. Number seven wants a SQL query that returns the average energy of songs that are by Drake. So in this one we need average energy from songs where we're joining Drake and the song. So the first thing we're going to do is select average. We already did that one, right? Except we want average energy. And we want average energy as average underscore energy. And then we're going to select that from songs, but we need the songs where the artist ID in, now we're going to run our selection here, and we're going to do select ID from artist where the name is equal to Drake. And put our semicolon here and let's see how that works out. And I've got an error here. It says no such thing as artist. That's on me. It's going to be artist with an S. And we're going to retry that here. Average energy 0 0.599. Now there is another way you can do it. We can actually run it like this. Again, that's only one way. What we can do is select average. And we're going to kind of do similar to what I did on Post Malone. S energy. And we do that from songs S where we're going to join artist A on. And now we're going to have S dot artist ID is equal to a dot ID where a dot name is equal to Drake and we're gonna close that out and we're gonna see if that returns the same thing here 0 0.599 so either of those works SQL is a little bit like coding right you can actually do more than one thing to accomplish the same result in this particular one I'm gonna stick with this query and I'm gonna input that into my answers here giving us the average energy from Drake's songs so I'm gonna close out seven here I'm gonna clear out that and we're gonna move on to eight we want a SQL query that lists the name of the songs featuring other artists which includes the feat we need that information so we have only two queries here but we need to use quote feat that's what's going to be in there so moving on to eight here we're going to do select name from songs this time we're going to do where the name is like and that's an important feature here in sql feat period, percent, end quote, semicolon, copy this, paste it. Those are all the songs with features on them. So a quick explanation of the second line here in case you guys don't remember. So the percent sign is a wild card, right? So that means that the characters match any sequence of characters. So the condition needs to be true for any song name that has F-E-A-T period in it, regardless of what's before it and regardless of what's after it. So some people might have featuring Drake, some people might have featuring Cardi B. So regardless, in this case, they all seem to have the parentheses. But in most cases, you're going to need those wild cards before or after that. Now, a couple things to remember how to get you out of SQLite. You have dot exit. Okay, that's going to be one way to get you out. And if your SQLite freezes for any reason and you don't know how to get out, and for whatever reason dot exit is not working, which takes us back, we're going to get back in there. And you can always hold control on your keyboard 
press D and it will automatically back you out. If your errors are looping or stuck and can't figure out what's going on, Control D will always take you back and get you out of SQLite 3. So there we have it. That was week 7. This is Songs. I am Devin. You are awesome. We'll see you soon. Thanks for hanging out.